Hey there, welcome to Creative Suite TV. I've got a very exciting uh, episode or, or tutorial for you uh, this time. We're actually going to start off by using one of Adobe's new touch apps, which is called Adobe Proto. We're going to be using it on an Android uh, tablet here. And then we're going to take our little website, which we prototype up using Proto, send it over to the desktop, uh, and then we're going to use Adobe Edge to do some HTML5 animation. We're even going to throw in a little bit of Adobe Illustrator, my favorite uh, desktop Adobe tool, uh, to add some really neat little graphics in there. But let's start off by having a really quick look at Proto. So you can see here I've got uh, Adobe Proto open already and there's a few projects that I've been working on uh, thus far. Just to give you a bit of a brief um, overview of what we can do here, Proto allows us to set up um, a, a wireframe of a potential website that we might be doing. Whether it's a tablet layout, a mobile layout, wide mobile layout. Um, I'm just going to choose a tablet layout here. You can choose columns, etc. and create it. It's a very simple tool to get to get used to. Uh, lots of tool tips appearing over here. And basically when we want to go ahead and add elements, um, we have a whole bunch of tools down the left hand side of screen here. But I can use some gestures on the tablet here to introduce some elements. For example, I can do a squiggle across the top here to put um, a heading on. Uh, I can simply draw some boxes here just to place some graphics. If I'd like a video element somewhere on the page, I can do that by drawing a, a triangle. Um, and I can do uh, menus, um, drop down menus. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different gestures. Oh, we'll try that one again that we can use to create a wireframe. All sorts of uh, video components, um, buttons, drop downs, text boxes, etc, etc. We can put multiple pages in here and then on and on we go. There's plenty of tutorials on Adobe TV that you can you can have a look at that cover off uh, Proto. But the thing that I really want to show you is the um, layout or, the, or the, the wireframe that I've already gone ahead and created. You can see I'm doing a, a mobile site for a, a very small um, business that's selling honey online. Um, we've got some menu items there and we've got some graphics, um, uh, spaces for some graphics and a breadcrumb trail. A few bits and pieces like that. So we've already laid this out. Of course we can adjust it, you know, move things up and down and you know, make sure we've got everything in the right spot. We've done all of that, um, it looks really great. We go back um, over to our layout here. What we can do is using this little option over here, I can just uh, click on this and then we can use the upload to creative cloud option. And then this is going to allow us to share our wireframes over onto the desktop. And then we're going to be able to take this HTML, this wireframe HTML and continue working on it on the desktop. So let's go ahead and do that. So using Creative Cloud, I've gone ahead and downloaded our prototype of the McHugh Honey uh, website. And you can see here what I've brought down. We have the um, CSS file, uh, the index.html, sample video, etc. Thumbnail, PNG, all, all of the bits and pieces we need to make up that, that prototype. Just to show you this working, I'm just going to double click the HTML there and you can see all the uh, various different divs, components, text. There's even a neat little placeholder video uh, in here with the uh, proto logo, menus happening. It's just HTML. So in this little folder here. Now what we can do, and this is the really neat thing, and this is what I love, is I've got Adobe Edge running. So this is Edge Preview, which is our... Um, uh, public beta of uh, HTML5 uh, animation tool. Very easy to create a new a new um, animation here, and it, because it's HTML, we can open up 
pretty much any HTML. So I'm just going to say open file. We're going to come over to the desktop where we have this folder. There's the index HTML that we were just looking at. I can press open and lo and behold, here it is. All of the elements over on the right hand side here. Uh, we can see all of those there. So that's very, uh, very easy. Excuse me, easy to navigate. Uh, we can turn on and off with the little eyeball each of those um, image elements that we placed in. Very, very easy to do. I can actually select one of these now and start creating some animation with it. Let, let, let me give you an example. We're right over at the, uh, at the start here. Um, we can then expand this out. We have a, a little um, a little playhead here. So we've got two playheads so that we can very quickly do a tweening animation. Uh, if I drag this element uh, off the page, then I've already created a an animation between those two points. And then I can shift this around very, very easily. As well as that, when we have an animation, uh, very quickly, we've got a bunch of preset easing uh, options over here. So we can say uh, ease out uh, bounce, for example, so that when our uh, graphic flies in, and I'll just hit the space bar again, we're going to get a really nice uh, bounce on the end there. So a terrifically easy tool to animate with. And again, there's a lot of tutorials online on Adobe um, uh, TV to learn how to use um, Adobe Edge. It's not my intention to go through all of the options here. We're really having a little bit of a look at a workflow. Now, while this is happening, we want to start swapping out some of these prototype images with real graphics. Okay, and to do that, we're going to use Adobe Illustrator. Oh, hello, Illustrator. It's just like seeing an old friend again. Every time I open it, I love Illustrator. been using it for many, many, many years. I've created some graphics. I've created some vector graphics. This is what Illustrator is fantastic at doing. Instead of having a whole bunch of pixels all over the joint taking up and hogging all sorts of memory, we're going to use vector graphics and this is what Illustrator is a gun at. Now, I've created this honeycomb pattern here as vectors. Now, we're not going to be using Flash, of course, as HTML5. Uh, what we want to do, though, is keep the vectors so that we can scale up, scale down, etc. You know, et what we actually want is a scalable vector graphic. OMG, can you do that? Well, yes, you can. And Illustrator's very good at doing it. All we need to do create the graphics in an Illustrator file, and then just do a Save As. Now, Illustrator loves SVG files so much that it's right here. We have a compressed SVG or just a regular SVG. We're going to choose a regular SVG file, and we're going to save it onto our desktop. We'll call it Honeycomb SVG, so that looks good. If we've got artboards, we can use artboards, so we can save out multiple SVG files out of the one file so we can quickly um, uh, save them all out like that but we're just doing a single file. Now get ready for fun because we want to place this into Edge to animate but what if we change our mind on the color or something like that? Well let's tick on preserve Illustrator editing capabilities so perhaps later on if we want to make a change we can come back into Illustrator, make that change, and have the SVG file update. Well, I'm not going to say automatically, but automatically. And then we'll say, OK, that's going to save that out. Now we have a honeycomb SVG. We're in the SVG format, and all of the, the Illustrator editing capabilities still intact. We've got this other file here, so let's do the, let's do the same for this particular graphic. Uh, save as. Again, just to reiterate, uh, SVG, save it onto the desktop. Looking very nice. Illustrator editing capabilities and save. Very nice. Now, we will close these two files. Off you go, you little devil, and you too. And we come back over to Edge. So what we'd like to do now is bring those elements in just to see them working. So how do we do that? 
under the file menu in Edge down to import and here are the two files so we'll go for the honeycomb SVG we'll say open and there it is you'll also notice that the rough edges uh, that we had on our uh, Illustrator file have gone well that's because the artboard is now cropping this SVG and as a matter of fact we can even just sort of scale this down and crop it into it further we're going to line this up using the neat smart guides over the top of the other graphic or the top of the other image rather and we'll just trundle that up there we go so that looks very good and it's come in as the honeycomb uh, pattern so that's that's very nice um, we can bring the playhead back over here uh, we can actually select this uh, animation and uh, if I copy that I should be able to select our new graphic and then paste it on so that if we then hide our background image we've now replaced the animation on top of the new graphic so we can animate the um, animate the wireframe and then simply copy and paste that animation onto any new element so as we've placed that in boom now we have our honeycomb pattern dropping into spot so if we can now place in any other graphic so we might uh, just bring our our playheads together over here at second one and we'll import our other graphic uh, which is our clover there it is wow it's massive um, we can we can size it down uh, we can scale it of course it's a scalable vector graphic so we can make this any size we like and then we can place that over there or wherever it is uh, that it needs to go maybe then you know we need to uh, fade that in as well so we simply stretch out our um, our playhead there on the graphic maybe maybe drop the opacity down and then that fades up as well we can reposition this any way we like so let's have a look and there's our our logo flashing up anyway there's a lot more animation that we that we could do to this okay just saving our project as it is right now I'm just going to um, go ahead and and hit the save as button there we're going to save our HTML file save uh, reply so uh, it's looking pretty good we're now going to jump back over to the desktop to see if we can update one of these graphics so if I go to my desktop here you can see here's the McHugh honey folder and here are the images and here's the SVG that we've included in our um, animation project I'm going to double click this and it opens instantly back in Illustrator and we can see here all the graphics now I've been told from a reliable source that these in fact aren't bees they're wasps so not really appropriate for our honey logo here so I'm going to delete those two bees and actually I might even just sort of move this text a little uh, perhaps we might even enlarge this clover logo I think that needs to be made a little bit more of a feature and we'll press save and then we'll close that so we've in fact updated uh, this SVG file when I jump back over to edge now you can see uh, clover SVG was changed outside of edge do you want to reload the composition and in fact yes and now my little logo is updated so using the combination of Edge and Adobe Illustrator and the SVG format is a fantastic way of working you know what it's got so many different benefits we can scale this up not lose any quality scale it back down uh, wonderful that's the beauty of the SVG file so there's a little bit of a workflow there and if you're an animator if you're doing HTML5 you're an illustrator user or a designer there's certainly a lot of exploration to happen in Adobe Edge and Illustrator and Proto well I really hope you enjoyed that and put some of those skills to good use I'd love to see some of the things that uh, the wonderful Adobe customers come up with thanks again for uh, tuning in we'll see you next time